Hi, my name is Mashanta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I love all things beauty and this is where I love talking about makeup, skincare and self-love. So if that's the sort of thing that you enjoy, then please keep on watching. I am again super excited for today's video. This is one of my favorite type of videos to film, which is a lipstick swatch video. I realized I have 15 lipsticks from Smashbox. I have no idea how I got there. Possibly because Smashbox always runs offers like buy one get one or get a full size lipstick free and I probably just collected it that way. So without talking more, let's just get into the swatches. I have 15 lipsticks across shade families. I have around 5 in the red, brownie red family, 3 in the nude family, 6 in the pink family. There are a lot of pinks. Clearly I like pink and one from it from the berry family uh, my face is completely bare i do have a lot of heavy eye makeup on but my skin i have no foundation on this is how my skin looks just coming in close so you can see let me start with the nude family yes honey yes honey mm, you can see the difference it's more this is cool that's warmer audition which is definitely more pink and you can see that this is this is like a pinky nude yes honey it does look orange on me while it looks bare on me without makeup i think with makeup if you're my skin tone you can make this work but this is a pretty nice pigmented formula though this is yes honey mm, too dry oh my god Mm. Mm. My lips are going to hate me today. Ow, this is too dry. It's not coming out with the regular micellar water that I use. Ow. Ow. How it looked. This formula is already dry. I have to declutter this. Oh my god, this looks disgusting on me. Yuck. Guys, this is audition. Do not take audition if you're my skin tone. It looks disgusting. If you're lighter than me, this will look lovely, but... It's washing me out so much. My lips feel like it's been sandpapered. This is a really, really bad thing. I can't wait to get this off. And I am getting this off right now. Mm. It's not coming off. It's not coming off the Miss Hello Auto. Guys, if you have these lipsticks in the liquid formula, do not wait till they dry down. Use them up ASAP because these guys, once dry, they are like torture to your lips. Next, we have Stepping Out, which is this shade. Let's hope Stepping Out looks good. Oh, this is... This is a new one. Hasn't dried down. Has a wonderful slip to it. A bit too cool tone and ashy for me. Let's wait till this dries down to see how it looks. I think I could make this work with a bit of makeup. But it's literally almost my skin color, like slightly more brown. What do you think? You know, as it dries, I really like stepping out. It's a very nice muted color. I also had another brown nude color, which was deep thoughts or something. I found that it was, it washed me out. So I, de I gave it away to a friend. But you have this oil cleanser. This is the Nooks Cleansing Oil. Whenever you're using the liquid lip, you'll need to use cleansing oil. Uh, micellar water will not cut it. The Berry Family. This is the Always On Lipstick range. I love this lipstick formula. By the way, spoiler alert. Like, look at that. This is like one swipe pigmentation. This is soft, highly pigmented, decently long-lasting. 
Oh, this is such a comforting formula. I definitely prefer this formula over the liquid formula. Even though the liquid formula is long lasting, but it dries down so quickly. Now it's time for some pinks. I'm starting off with the iconic Gulabi, which was formulated for Indian skin tones. It's a cool toned pink. Next we have Big Spender, which is a warmer pink. Now for Driver's Seat, which is a pink with orange undertones. Next we have Babe Alert, which is a lighter, more neutral pink. And please ignore the face I'm making. I have no idea why. Now we have Freshka, which is from the Always On formula. You have Gulabi, then you have Big Spender, then you have Driver's Seat, then what's the fourth one? Then you have Babe Alert and uh, Freshka. This is how Gulabi looks when it's dry. I think it looks lovely when it's dry. And this is Big Spender once it's dried down. Next we have Driver's Seat which is a pink with hints of orange. I think I like it when it's dry but I'm not sure if it's I'm able to carry it off without makeup. This is Babe Alert which is a lighter pink. I'm so confused about this. I don't know if this suits me or not. Let me know in the comments below. Now it's time for Fresh Car which is the lightest pink that I have and this is in the always on formula. I love the way the lipstick feels but I'm still in two minds about whether it actually suits me or not. Bang Bang. Crazy red. Caliente in the always on formula. Disorderly. Misconduct. Misconduct. And hoops on hoops on next we have bang bang which is like an electrifying red look at the pop of color it actually gives me i love the color i think i look nice in this but i'm so unsure about wearing this outside i don't think i ever have next we have caliente in the always on formula it's a pink orange red hybrid a very rare color but i'm not sure if it actually suits me again now I'm trying on Disorderly, it's like a cross between burgundy and red. I really like deep colors, especially on the days where I don't want to make any effort. Without any makeup, just a deep red lip can make do wonders. So the shade Misconduct is completely dried up. I just put a picture of me using it sometime, sometime before. It used to be one of my favorite lip colors. I thought it was perfect on the days that I felt lazy. And I just wanted a bright lip because I could just step out with zero makeup on and just that on and I would look so put together. Shade Hoops On which is from the Always On formula. Imagine disorderly or misconduct in this creamy pigmented matte formula. Love it. So there you have it. Basically swatched 15 different Smashbox lipsticks. So my final thoughts on Smashbox are I've only tried two of their formula. One is the Liquid Lip Matte formula and the second is the Always On formula. Between the two, the always on formula, which is the bullet lipstick, right, is a lot more comfortable. It's highly pigmented. It stays a while. But after a point, I think, and that might just be because of the number of lipsticks I swatched, it does tend to get waxy. So you need to be a little careful. But beautiful, beautiful formula. On the liquid lip matte range, again, wonderfully long lasting, pretty pigmented super matte right like absolutely you need like industry grade makeup remover to work regular micellar waters will not work you need cleansing oils to remove it the biggest con that i have with the liquid lip matte formulas is they can be super drying and they get and they dry up very easily even when container right so if you buy the liquid lip matte formula just make sure that you use them up because once it starts drying it's an absolute pain to use before it dries up it is such a beautifully comfortable it goes on like an oil and then dries up like a mat so it's that way it's a brilliant formula so that's all for today i hope you really enjoyed this video i would love to hear from you please consider liking commenting sharing subscribing it really does wonders for me and my motivation thank you all so much bye